Darren, quite interested in this because this part here that we're going to look at and talk about, you didn't actually use your new seat of Hypermill to, uh, to program or to create. You used a previous, um, a previous CAM system, but it wasn't quite good enough or as good as what you've got with Hypermill, and that's what made you uh, make the change, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so the, the thing that made us change the software was our previous software has done us very well for three years, and for three axis we still use it. When we get into part this complicated, um, obviously with the time it takes on the machine, you want to have some faith that it's right before it goes on the table. So the previous software, the simulation and collision detection, was not really at the level we needed, whereas Hypermill, we've got the full CAD model of the machine, and so far, touch wood, if the software says it's good, it's been perfect every time, so we just need that faith. How long have you been a user of Hypermill? Um, since we put the spinner in, so just on probably five and a half to six months. So taking this part, let's look at this as a, as a whole. How long would it actually take you to uh, take this from a design right the way through to a, a finished component now with Hypermill? Um, so this particular one in front of us, uh, because we did design this in-house, there was probably circa 100 hours to design it. Probably a similar number for programming. Um, again, this is why we went with Hypermill, because the calculation times are so much reduced over the previous software when you get into big complex parts. So I would expect Hypermill would be less than half that amount of programming time. So you could reduce that, that time by over 50% or over. Now, what I like about this as well is trying to explore actually your business. I mean, Alitech, you're, you're only, you've only been going three years, but you're specialists in really taking a design or designing something like this and getting it right the way through to, to delivery and doing that as fast as possible, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, we do everything from road cars up to some local F1 teams. Um, but certainly with this type of product, it's normally, you know, we're kind of the, the people you call when you've left it a bit late and you're a bit desperate. So we'll always try to help out in that situation. And with that being the case, then, you really need products to support you, like the Hypermill, like the 5-axis machine here from Spinner, to be able to re react quickly and get you, get you what, what you need to deliver the part ASAP. Yeah, absolutely. Um, service is quite important for us when there is a problem that arises, you want a quick response. You told me earlier off camera about an example where a customer came to you and said, I need this engine in two weeks time and yeah. you managed to deliver it, didn't you? Yes, yeah, so it's a, a local customer with a drag car. Um, he built a car in a quite ridiculously short time period um, and approached us about designing and making the inlet manifold. And yeah, it's, I can't remember the exact time, but it was roughly around about two weeks from design to on the car. Now, that is fascinating. I wanted to tell the viewers that because it is impressive. Uh, on the Hypermill side of things, I'm going to put myself in a position of, as yourself maybe a few months ago. Uh, maybe you'd got your machine and you were looking for a, a CAM solution. You go to market. There's quite a few now, isn't there, that you can pick from. Tell, me, tell us about your journey and how you got to where you are with Open Minds. Okay. Um, I think from the word go, we knew that we were going to be doing a lot of simultaneous as opposed to just fixed five-axis machining. So what we found was, we, we kind of narrowed it down to three main ones, um, but certainly what shone out for Hypermill was its full simultaneous capabilities, we felt just slightly picked the other two options, and that the out of the box package did a lot of what the other two packages wanted to charge as extra bolt-ons, so that, that was quite important for us. Because this, we talk to a lot of engineers, and there's always this kind of 90-10 split, 90% are just, uh, using maybe Hypermill and they're doing uh, five-face machining. Um, and we don't often get to the 10%, because obviously it's a much smaller market that is doing the simultaneous. But you are in that 10% and you've done it from, from scratch, haven't you? I mean, that's, that's no mean feat. Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, yeah, the, the job on the machine behind us was, I think, the second job we did, probably about a week and a half after having the machine. So there were quite a few calls for technical assistance from Hypermill because we threw ourselves in the deep end. Um, but yeah, like for second job, it was good. And was there any cycles or anything in the, in, in the software that really sort of made you think that certainly with the types of parts that you're making, uh, maybe when you look at doing, uh, you know, uh, deep pocket machining or, or, or valve seats and stuff like that, that the software lends itself to specifically? For us, primarily on Hypermill, it was the port machining options. We, we design and make quite a lot of intake manifolds and do a lot of intake port machining on heads, as you say. So the ability to be able to quickly machine down around corners on an internal pocket, yeah, that's one of the reasons we did go with Hypermill. And to get yourself fully trained on that, yourself and Charlie, how long did it take? 
or is it just Charlie that uses it? Um, Charlie very kindly volunteered to go first, so um, I've kind of got quite sidetracked with running the business and taking care of other things, so yeah, I've done the training courses, but Charlie just about lets me touch the machine, um, but it's basically his baby now, he kind of looks after it. And it doesn't really matter what machine you've got either, posting the, uh, posting the product through to, posting the code through to a, a spinner, all good. Yeah, no, I mean, we were quite lucky that apparently Spinner themselves are a Hypermill user. So we managed to get a post processor that was 95% there out of the box, really, so minor tweaks. And just pick up one of these parts off the floor before we conclude here, because I just want to have a look at this as well. This is an another example. Uh, this is, this is a, a nice part. I think I know what this is, but can you explain? Yeah, um, yeah so it's an upright for a local motorsport team. Um, the real issue with this part is it's tied up quite tightly um, so we have to go about it in quite a sort of methodic way it gets roughed and basically left on the side of the bench for three days let the stress go out of it and then we're actually got fixtures where we're remachining and doing all the finished machining what do you call tied up tightly um, O1 across the length of the part between balls so pretty tight no scrappers as yet um, I'd be lying if I said no we, we have had one um, it's quite a complex part and, and if you had a, a final few words to say about Open Minds Hypermill for our viewers, that we're looking at CAM solutions, what, what would you say? Um, yeah, I'd say it depends what you want to do, but if you if you'll certainly think you're going to use simultaneous, then we've had a, a pretty good experience compared to you know what we feel other people have had with various other softwares.